Hey my scrappy friends, this is Hannah with you today and I am sharing with you an August for the Love of Homemade Kits layout and unfortunately I am not sure what happened to the other part of the footage. I either started without pressing record or I lost it. <laughs> so you see a block with a whole bunch of mixed media on it and then I did a whole bunch of splatters. Um, <clears throat> Both of these were using different sprays from Shimmers. Um, I did put gesso on the bottom of this, so it is clear gesso, which is why it sits on there a lot better than uh, if I didn't. Otherwise, it would have just kind of soaked in. So now I'm grabbing my kit, and I'm going to start off using the kit and then adding some of July's kit in as well, I believe. <clears throat> so I'm just going to cut these down. I will admit that this is quite a long video. For whatever reason, some of my videos lately are long. So if you do not like long videos, you're more than welcome to speed me up <laughs> um, or wait until I have some shorter videos because that is bound to happen at some point. So I do try to edit them as much as possible uh, without losing a whole lot of content, but sometimes I don't like to edit everything out because I do want to, want to explain what I'm doing. So I just want to put that out there that I am not forcing anyone to, I do not want to force anyone to watch a video that they do not enjoy. So yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about that. So <clears throat> Um, I did cut those two photos down. They are squarish sizes. Um, I've been using a lot of closer to like three by three and a half type sizes. I've just been enjoying that. So I decided that this background needed something. So I am going to just doodle some straight lines and I am using my ruler. <laughs> This is actually a magnetic ruler for my old um, mat that I have. So it actually like sticks to the mat, but yeah. So I'm now looking for a white pen. Um, and I have a few different kinds of white pens. My Uniball Signo pen is kind of drying out. And once they dry out, they don't really show up, which is fine. Um, because I do have some Poshka pens and they are paint pens. <clears throat> I did try to use the J Jane Davenport port, uh, like a paint pen, but I don't think that they work that well. They really smudge a lot. So you can see where I did do that, do some stuff a little bit. And I just drew a few lines and then some pluses. So I'm just gonna go over a few of these. I should have just left the lines with the Signo pen. I think it would have looked fine, but I do like that I went over. And of course you can't see them a lot, a lot, which is really what I wanted. I just wanted something really subtle um, for some extra little stuff, some doodling. Um, this was one of the papers that was in my kit in my mini kit. So if you didn't watch my kit share, it I will make sure I try to link it below so that you can see what was in my kit. For August, we just did a small mini kit, um, very summer oriented, but there will be um, a full kit in September. So hopefully I will get some more layouts. I didn't get that many this month. And even I feel like July, I didn't use that much of it just because I was doing, well, that's not true. I guess I'd use more stuff in July. I haven't been doing a layout every week and I guess that really is like my fault. I need to just decide, am I going to do a layout every week with it or just do like three or something? So I need to decide what I want to do. I really do like to use my stash kits because I mean I made a kit to use it right so I mean you're not going to use the stash if you don't make layouts with it so I guess I just need to get on top of that and do that <laughs> but yeah I did decide that I want a little bit of this background um, pattern to 
um, peek out. So I'm going to roll. I just cut a little slit in there and I'm going to roll these. I think I cut like a small triangle. I found that I feel like that works really well if you want to like pull the edges back quite a bit because then you have this um, more space that's going to show. Otherwise, you're rolling a lot. And I did add, as you can see, some of the ATG. Um, and then I'm going to staple it as well with a mini stapler because I don't think it would stay if I just used the ATG. Maybe if I had used a wet glue, it might. Now, I didn't cut these off. So if you notice, it does come off the sides. Um, I probably will do that when I put it in my album, but for now, it's just how it is. So I am gonna pop one of these up. This must be three by three because they look a lot smaller. They don't look like they're rectangular. But I am gonna put this on there. I'm gonna do a few layers. Um, yeah. So, and then this is when I decide, oh, I should cut some of the these fronds out from this pattern paper. It took me forever to do this. I will, however, not make you watch me do it because it is just fussy cutting. And I really just had to decide which fronds I wanted to use. And I am going to end up cutting out more because I cut these out and it just wasn't enough. So, Part of the reason why this layout took so long is because I really finagled and played around with the placement of these fronds. Like I didn't know exactly how I wanted them. And so I'm going to move them around quite a bit and you're going to watch me move them around because this is part of the process. And yes, I could have taken it out and just showed, you know, me building another layer and all that and then it's magically I'm here and I did cut like I did work on this in a little bit off screen and then so when it comes back it will show but I did move them around um, I did I've done this quite a bit with some of the florally things and I don't know maybe it's because I've been doing a lot of hand fussy cutting with florals that I just feel this need that I gotta like play around with it and make it different because I feel like this and another layout that I did after this are really similar <laughs> in terms of that uh, I have a lot of different things layered um, that are leafy. And I think that's part of, you know, you kind of get into this groove of like liking certain things. I'm really loving this look with all these fussy cut things. And so I played with putting them here thinking, hey, that might be kind of fun. Um, and I really do like it kind of sticking out of there. I am going to move them down from the bottom because I am, I don't want to cover all of that fun little work that I did <laughs> to create these little peekaboo areas. Um, so here we go. I have this. And then I'm going to come back and play around with it a little bit more as I start to put them down. So I'm going to put parts of them on pop, pop dots and some of them not. And um, yeah, and then I will decide that I need more. Um, for whatever reason, when I go to put them back, they're not falling the same way. And I mean, I think that happens to a lot of us, right? <laughs> This is why either you take a photo or you lightly glue it so that you can um, just add like pop dots or whatever to areas that you think you need them. But I don't do that because, you know, it's so much funner and more work <laughs> to, uh, you know, take them off and put them back on again. So, you know. It is what it is, and I'm okay with that. And it's, like I said, it's all part of that process. And I think for me, a lot of it is just really having fun with it. So if I'm watching a show or whatever, or listening to music, I may have been listening to music at this point. Because um, I know at one point I was listening to music. I feel like sometimes that helps me work a little bit faster, but I mean, you can't tell. But I did fussy cut a lot of these or I did fussy cut these out and let me tell you, 
These were not easy because they were multicolored, and so you just kind of have to pick a few and just stay with that. Stay the course. <laughs> so I do like how this turned out. It's monochromatic in a fun way, and I didn't ex like I was didn't plan on doing that when I started this. And I think that's part of the reason why sometimes it takes me a little bit longer because I don't really have a plan when I start. I just go and see where it takes me, and and that's okay too. So now it's just kind of finagling and playing with them and seeing exactly where I think they're going to work best and all of that goodness. So like I said, I did put a lot of these pieces on pop dots and I'm going to add one more layer to this photo cluster just because I like layers and I'm using some six by six pads and pa paper pads pieces that I had in my kit because I did have some six by six in there and um recently I did a six by six pad scrap bin layout so I think I might have had a couple of papers left over from that too so sometimes if I have something laying on my desk I will just add it to my kit because I feel like hey I left it out I might as well use it and get the most use out of it and I do feel like when I do that I do tend to use my stuff up a little bit more if I leave a couple of things out on my desk on the side so and really at this point it's just kind of making all these fronds look decent not cover up too much and I am gonna um, use some bits and pieces that I had cut off from another piece of one of the pattern papers from Maggie Holmes that had all these just little tidbits of things. So if it had been the full sheet, it would have been bigger pieces of like cut apart and stuff and like word things, but it worked really well for this six by six size because of the fact that it is, um, they're smaller and so they tuck in a lot better too. So that was definitely something that I thought of when I was doing this is what can I tuck in and make really fun because this is a photo of my kids. Last year we went to the beach for the first time while we were in Washington and um, uh, of course the kids wanted to put their toes in. It was not a super hot day that day. So they, we really didn't want them to go in. Of course, you know how that works. They fall in, but it started off with them just putting their toes in and, you know, Sam fell in and all that fun stuff. But so here is where I'm taking some of those pieces and I'm just layering them in, in the papers, but I'm also, like I said, gonna put them around too. So I use quite a bit of them just because they worked out really nicely in there, just tucking in to those fronds. It just kind of added a fun little element that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> so definitely covered up a lot of that pattern paper that was peeking out of the side, but I think it looks really fun and cool and a nice way to have something, an easier, mix, e easier mixed media background because there wasn't, this was basically a square with splatters in it. And while it was wet, it could drip together and create some different varieties of colors. And I feel like if you're gonna do something like this, you want to use colors that are similar on the scale so that when they merge and blend together, they blend nicely and you don't get a really gross color. I am gonna cut, oh, I did cut off the one little thing. I don't know if I cut all of the frond parts off yet. Not quite done. I know I got to put in my title and I add this little piece there and I remembered that I had that book of washi tape pieces <laughs> from Maggie Holmes. So I'm going to incorporate some of those. I did go into my stash and grab these Chamel um, hearts because there was similar colors to what I used. So I'm going to use those and just kind of peek them around in different places. I add one of 
the one little um, piece, cut apart piece and tucked it in there. So once again, I had something kind of peeking in, but you can see a lot more of that pattern sticking out than if I had just used um, the fronds over top of it, maybe, I don't know. I kind of like it tucked in there. It adds a little fun element and just something over there. Since it's very one side heavy, that one side with all the fronds is definitely quite heavier. So just by adding some other stuff other places, it just kind of makes it not seem so heavy over there, even though you can see through it. <laughs> of course, while I'm doing these things, I'm never thinking, oh, how can I make this more balanced? It's just what looks good to my eye, what, what feels right. And that's definitely how I scrapbook. And I know not everybody can do that. And that's okay. I feel like, um, if you enjoy what you put out and what you're making, it's not really a bad thing if you're not following the rules of design. <laughs> because like I said, I hardly ever think, oh, what is going to do this? Every once in a while, I'll be like, oh, this is trapping space <laughs> or something like that. But so I had these in my kit. These are just some Maggie Holmes and then October Afternoon, like alpha, tile alphas. And so I'm just looking to see if I have any other stickers. Those were Dear Lizzie. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so here's where I add the washi tape. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I had this washi tape. So I'm gonna add some of this heart washi tape up to the top and the bottom. Um, and then these, and this was a really fun way to incorporate some washi tape onto my layouts because if you followed my channel, you probably know I'm not a big washi tape person and I'm going to, I'm just going to say it out there. I'm not a fan of washi tape really. Um, I find it really, really hard to incorporate because it's very one dimensional for the most part, but I mean, and I know a lot of like things are, but because it sticks so close to the background if you don't have the right pattern or the right thing it just for me it just is hard to work in it has to be a part of the thing of, of like how the background's going to work and I mean I'm sure if I worked more with it I probably could get it better but so I'm just pulling out some stickers, some puffy stickers, some of these uh, sequin looking stickers in similar colors. So I wanna make sure I pull in just a little bit of yellow because I had some yellow and there is a little bit of yellow in those fronds. I know it's not a color that is actually on the background, but I like that there's just one other color that's a little bit different. And so I decide, hey, I have this chipboard thing frame <laughs> so I used the frame I haven't used a frame in like forever so it was kind of fun to use it and it's shiny and metallic just like those alphas so I felt like it worked kind of there I mean and I had that other little tie like square down at the bottom underneath so it was just kind of a fun way to add just something else like I said at this point I'm like de definitely throwing off the symmetry of it even more but I'm okay with that and um, so I use that big toes for the alpha or the alpha for the toes and I am gonna stick one of these I don't I really didn't need to add anything else it's I really didn't I'm not really sure why I did <laughs> except for to add a little bit more of that tur like aqua turquoisey aqua color I guess sort of turquoise teal color so I kind of play around with a few places I'm gonna stick it there and then I feel like oh I gotta stick it down at the bottom or on the side or something so I do have a hard time kind of figuring out where I want this so I feel like it fits and works so in the end it will live there <laughs> it did take a little while i'm not i should have really just kept it off but you know sometimes once i commit to something and i pull it out i'm like oh i gotta make it work and i'm gonna add that little gold piece that's gonna bring a little bit more gold to the layout and then i will be done i think 
I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for joining me today. Be on the lookout. Oh, I forgot that I cut this totally out. <laughs> so we're going to use totally. I just thought that was really fun. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day. And don't forget to go and pull out some fun stuff from your stash. Maybe something you haven't used in a while. I'll see you guys later and have a great scrappy day. Bye.